did see a few games that they showed during the presentation. Uh, one was like a new 3D Mario game that they mm-hmm. didn't really, they just kind of showed it and didn't address it. Uh, also, like one quick thing, they showed Skyrim, but then it came out afterward that Skyrim's not confirmed for the console. Oh, How so does that even Bethes- work? Well, that's Bethesda being, we didn't announce this yet. Right. And why even would- if like, they, like we have every intention of putting it on this, it's part of that that cycle that they put it into. Like, we have the time when we will announce these things. We have not officially announced this game yet, even though you've seen it running on this console. Don't... And there's also the possibility that Nintendo could have jumped the gun, where they could have talked with Bethesda and said, like, this is something we'd like to put on the system. This is what it'll look like. (laughs) And they didn't get permission yet. Just put it on the reel. Force their hand. I love to imagine Todd Howard at home drinking a glass of wine or something. (laughs) Seeing Skyrim (laughs) spit take on his TV. (laughs) That's my game. And then no one... Toddy, what's the matter? (laughs) (laughs) The bastard stole my game! (laughs) No, uh... Yeah, then like the, the 3D Mario, what is what was that have? I mean, I'm sure like Nintendo has had some sort of statement about it. Like we're no, just not no. announcing it. <laughs> Nothing. Like no. they haven't even said like no. I mean, it's potential. What we see of that is a very small slice. So I've even seen conjecture that it's just like an endless, like a 3D runner. And it was possible because you're literally just running on a, a single track. I don't think it will be. I think it will be a full 3D Mario game. Yeah. But I think that was also more proof of concept and like an idea. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to say it's a surprise that there's going to be a Mario game on this Nintendo console. But what? I guess it was the what? the heat and the excitement of the moment like that we saw. We're like, what was that? Because I just in like played Mario far more than I have and he's like I don't recognize that level from anything you know I thought maybe right, it was just right. like 3D land or whatever 3D world whatever the most recent one was 3D world 3D world um, but I guess I wanted to talk about like what other kind of ways they could like make cool games for this console I mean like however far fetched you want to get like, well we know we know what they're going to do in the in the beginning there's going to be a Mario game there's going to be we know Zelda yeah. like that's the only actually confirmed title sure. well, Splatoon Splatoon is they showed that is that a port yeah, but there was like, well, I mean, probably a port. There were new hairstyles. Someone got all excited. No about way. <laughs> Nintendo switch your hair. Yeah. I think they showed Mario Kart as well on there. Yeah, right? like, a, but are these games that are just going to get updates on the Wii U? Or are right. these full new titles? It felt like what we saw that these were slight modifications on existing games. So Mario Kart 8 and right. Splatoon. I feel like someone pointed out in Mario Kart on the in the preview video that you're able to have two, two items, items at once. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like graphically, it looked very similar. Blue shell, blue shell. Items, First and second place. <laughs> you also have both King of you. Boo. Blue show yourself. That'd be you sick. Say, I just blew myself. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying just now, Justin? <laughs> but, but in a way, those aren't even the things that are interesting. Those are the yeah. what we expect. We know this is going to come to every Nintendo console. There's going to be a Pokemon game. It's like, what level are they going to take that to? But the thing that I think is interesting to talk about would be third-party titles. And even do does that matter? It's been so long since a Nintendo console has had a strong third-party support. And I have a PS4 at home. Most of us have an Xbox One or a PS4 or a PC that plays all of the, the biggest games that we want to play. Like Skyrim. Do we need a, a Nintendo console to also fill that gap? No, I mean, we need the Nintendo console to get Nintendo games. Mm-hmm. And then... Whatever it does otherwise, that's kind of like the icing on the cake. And I know that sounds really like fanboyish, like hey, it's worth it just for Nintendo stuff. But like, I mean, by and large, that's kind of true if you like what they do. Like investing a couple hundred bucks to play their games isn't that big of a leap. Um, so yeah, like I don't think they're going to be able to sell it to anyone but Nintendo fans. Like but the if, same problem they've always had apart from the Wii. If this is as powerful as an Xbox One or PS, so the pure conjecture, we don't know what it's. It'll probably be, be close to a PS3. You, you think Xbox it, 360. I thought Wii U is pretty close to a PS3. I mean, they're not terribly far off, but I mean, this will be more powerful than the Wii U. But uh, I think it would come pretty close to PS4, Xbox One. I think they almost uh, have to. No, I don't think that's possible. Battery life, it'll... battery life would not allow that. Because that's a thing that would make it. I, I I wouldn't say a replacement, but at least something that you might turn to if you're if you're looking at what's the next big game I'm going to get. If you're not someone who's invested in the PlayStation 4 Pro no. or the Xbox Scorpio, sure. But like, so for me, it's the second screen experience thing, right? If you look at, okay, yeah, I can play remote play on my Vita. It's a shitty service. It doesn't work that well. Oh, I can play remote play on my laptop for my <laughs> PS4. But that's like a big cumbersome laptop, right? Mm-hmm. To actually have this really easily convertible thing, you just pick it up, you plop the, you can leave the controllers attached if you want to, but it really does make just playing any game so much easier when you're not relying on your TV. And so if they can deliver like decent performance for games that sure, maybe they're out already, or they're new games that aren't as high tech, that's still offering something totally different than just purely playing a console game on a TV. Like the Wii U couldn't handle what these games are doing because the gamepad was just a receiver. 
this gamepad will have the tech in there. So you'll, you'll be getting really good experiences on a small screen that's really convenient to play. And when you're done with it, you just plop it on and charge it, play it on the TV. Like, it, that just sounds like such a great scenario to me that I'm not, I don't think the power is going to be the thing. I think it's the convenience of transforming how you play games. And I am right in assuming that if you are to take it like on the go as like a more 3DS kind of type thing, it's going to be the same. You're going to be robbed. People will steal that from you <laughs> immediately. Right. But it's also the same game you're playing on TV. There's no scenario where, I don't know, like in an ideal world, you could be playing a 3D Mario on your TV like with the home console. Then you go and take it as a 3DS and it becomes 2D. No, no, no. I think if anything, you'd see the resolution dip or the frame rate dip. But at the same time, they could also dial back some special effects, maintain the frame rate. But again, the smaller screen, you don't need as much high resolution. So probably and, I, and I don't think that we're going to see down. a huge power boost. Like there's been some conjecture that when you put it into the console, at least from what they've shown in the video, when you put it into that base stand, yeah. that there could be a, a graphical improvement of a, of like having extra processing power in the base. And the way they showed it, I don't think that's possible because well, you're basically hot swapping graphics cards. They did. They, in an interview, they said that, no, it, it will not mm -hmm. provide more processing power in the base. But if you go back to the battery life thing, they could dial back some of the processing, mm -hmm. like literally, you know, kind of like hold back the processor when it's not docked and then just let the processor work as it should when it has more power and battery life isn't a concern. Mm -hmm. So technically, yeah, the dock could provide an envelope for better performance, but I, I'm pretty sure they were on record saying that no, there's not like an extra thing in the base station. So what's the switch going to do from a gameplay perspective that the Wii U didn't? Because the Wii U was basically a standalone console. That was my second console, mm -hmm. and I played it purely for Nintendo games. And ultimately, it felt like it, it didn't deliver. Like, what's going to be different about the Switch? I don't know what, obviously, I don't know what will yeah. be. I, what I really hope is that Nintendo deliver, and this is something that most people aren't talking about, they really nail a good operating system for this thing, because people are going to treat this device like a tablet. You couldn't do that with the gamepad. It, it was cumbersome, mm -hmm. it was big, it was low resolution, it, it didn't have great tech. So this will essentially be a Nintendo tablet, right? If they can, sorry, I'm, I lost the specifics of your question. What can they do to? I mean, what what is it that will make this different than the Wii? Like, is right, there, okay, right, are right. there games yeah, yeah. or titles that would make it different? Yeah, no, I don't think it's going to be the software that makes a difference, apart mm -hmm. from more third-party games. That is probably going to be the only difference we see here. I really think this is more of a tech move and sort of a, a twist on concepts that they've dabbled in before. And even just taking mobile gaming and, and just showing all these companies what they're doing wrong. Like why hasn't Apple or, you know, any Android manufacturer come out with like a really good software platform that works with really good hardware that lets you just focus on games without all the other like BS that comes with working with iOS and Android. Like Nintendo will really be able to be like, this is the mobile high tech gaming platform. And it's also your console. That was the main appeal to me, like watching the trailer and seeing what they're trying to do with it is like the 3DS has always worked well for me for local connection over Wi-Fi or whatnot. Yeah. Um, that was the most appealing thing to me. I'm not going to stop playing basketball to play NBA 2K16 <laughs> like they did in the trailer, but it is cool like to see like four people around playing it at, like the console games for all intents and purposes, maybe like downgraded graphics like you said, but you know, within close proximity as opposed to like having to play over like, you know, like almost a LAN party with just these smaller screens. Yeah. And that's the most appealing thing to me for. And I'm like thinking through my head, like what kind of games, like uh, it's all the first party stuff. It's Mario Kart. It's, you know, like the Mario co-op Mario games and whatnot. I don't better be Metroid. That's better. Be that's the one I guess like everybody wants because the new Zelda we all played it at E3. I think that was like GameSpot's you know like unanimous kind of yeah. game of the year and it was awesome yeah. and it seems like it's a return to form in a lot of ways and I'm curious how they're going to use the Switch to kind of do something new with Zelda because I feel like Zelda has always been every Zelda game that comes out like the first one on each console is kind of a proof of concept for the console. Skyward Sword finally nailed motion graphics. Right. Um, what was it? Twilight Princess showed that they could sort of be used on the the Wii. Um, I'm wondering what they might be doing with Zelda to show the switch off. There are some anything. weird patents that Nintendo has handled recently, like one that has like a light projector on the side of the tablet that literally shows people interacting with things, like with light hitting their hand. And then like, so I think the patent shows someone like throwing a ball towards a screen and then th like their friend being able to actually play it. If that comes true and that's a part of this, there's a lot of weird ass possibilities. But I think really Nintendo is going to focus on just, I hope, making these just good standard games that aren't relying on a gimmick, right? That aren't forcing you to use the game pad because, hey, look what I can do, right? Like, that was such a huge problem for games like Star Fox. Like, mm -hmm. that was the pinnacle of Nintendo's hubris. Mm -hmm. And they, they couldn't even admit it at the time. And I feel like this is a, a very firm, like, statement, like, okay, we heard you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
here is just a, a straightforward thing that just gives uses tech that actually makes it more convenient for you, not to show how clever we are sure. as a company. Yeah, stop trying to prove yourself and just get out of yeah. your own way. Um, when you said Metroid, I assume you mean like a 2D? Or do you like, oh, I mean, I, I love the Prime. I love Prime. Too. No, yeah, I, yeah. I just want a good Metroid game. I just want to be back in that world. Federation Force Shut. didn't do it for you. Well, games that I don't <laughs> want are multi, all split screen multiplayer. And they showed that look, with that ridiculous NBA basketball demo where he's yeah. like, oh, we're going to go play basketball. Now we're all going to share half a controller and play split screen. Like that, that seems horrible. Like, well, I'm not going to split my phone screen and do multiplayer on that. I'll play Bomberman that way. Oh, hell Maybe yeah. not NBA, but I'd play some games like that. Yeah, I can't, I can't kick bombs at my friend. I can play basketball five feet away with them. Yeah. <laughs> not very well, but I can play basketball. I love video games, but the real thing is right next to you. Just go do that um, or go home and play NBA 2K16. Mm-hmm. I'm just being a curmudgeon right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the Nintendo Switch. So those are kind of like our impressions on the tech and the actual what software might come out of it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. 